two, one. This is Joe here. This time for a first impression and review of a Sonos play bar, subwoofer, and two play one set up with this TV as a 5.1 sound system. Now I've never used a Sonos before. I have no Sonos in the house. These are my first ones. So uh, you'll be joining me for my adventure here. So first I'll set up this play bar. It is uh, sealed. Yeah, unseal it here. Put it up. Very simple packaging. Take it out. It comes with only what's in this box and the play bar. What's in the box? It's a quick start guide. Is important important project information. Optical cable, power cable, and Ethernet cable. And I'm going to be doing this with Wi-Fi, so I guess I won't need the Ethernet cable. I will probably need this and the power cable. So let's see what it tells me to do. Now I did load the Sonos app on my iPad. So uh, the iPad says that I should be uh, setting up one device at a time, which is exactly what I'm going to do here. So, um, it says, before you begin part of the installation, make sure that all external component components are connected directly to your TV, which they are. So I have today, I have uh, my cable box, DVD player, PlayStation 4, all connected with HDMI directly to the TV. So I'm, uh, I'm set with that. Uh, did this disconnect any existing home theater? Or surround system equipment, there is none. Um, and two options over here as far as uh, uh, laying this. I'm going to go with the flat on the TV stand design, which is lay the play bar horizontally flat uh, to preserve the audio quality. Uh, please ensure the connector panel faces towards the TV. So I'll do it in a second. And then we connect uh, the audio cable. Uh, from the TV to the play bar and then power it. Okay. And then it has uh, instructions about the subwoofer. I guess we'll get to that in a second. So let me first do what it asked me to do first. This is my play bar. I have not taken it out of the packaging yet. I'm very excited about this. Please read the license agreement. Well, oh, I'm sure they'll forgive me if I don't. So this is the play bar. We'll do exactly what they say, which is put this to the front, and then to the back will be the adapt the uh, jacks. Okay. So on the back, it's a very simple design. Got power, Ethernet, and optical audio. Okay. So let's put it right here. Now one thing I like about this, as I said, very simple design. It's very low. So, based on where it's at, I should be able to see the TV just fine by having that over there. Okay. And I'm going to do what it said over here as far as plugging it in. So, I will plug in the optical audio first, and then I will do the power. Okay. So, optical audio. Plug the optical audio from one to the other. So I'll put this under the TV. 
and plug it into the back of the um, tray bar right there. Oh. Cap you gotta take off first. Make sure I have the right side. Should be the same, but Put it back in again. You should see them holding it up in the air like this. Okay, that one's in. I'm not going to plug this in into the wall, but I will plug it in back here. So now I have the power plugged in and the optical audio plugged in. Okay, so I'm going to take those off this way, plug the optical audio into the TV. And then we'll plug the power into the outlet. We are back. Okay, it was. So it's now the optical audio is plugged. Uh, optical audio is plugged in. Power is plugged in. As soon as I did that, on the side over here, there's a green. Looking light, it looks like there's also a, um, not sure what this is, uh, on the top. Um, on the side over here, looks like a uh, play button on top and pause, as well as an up and down volume button. At least that's what it looks like. I've not read the instructions yet, I'm just showing you this from my first impressions here. Okay, so connected uh, power card in the audio. It says position a Sonos sub and pair of Sonos speakers for surround sound. I want to do that. It's good I have those. Okay, so let's right now do the second part of this, which is uh, get all the uh, Sonos sub. It's right here. This is heavy. This is a Sonos sub. Okay. And it says that it weighs about 35 pounds. Pull it up carefully. Got a quick start guide, just like the other one. See if it tells us anything different in this one. Important product information and the quick start guide. So the quick start guide. Set up Sonos, play bar. Place up for anywhere on the floor, standing it up or lying it flat in a corner against a wall or under your furniture, wherever it fits best. In my case, it'll be in the corner back here. And then the next thing you do is you apply power to it. This looks pretty easy. Um, and then uh, add to the Sonos Sub. Select add a player or sub from the Sonos app or mobile device. Uh, select manage, add a player or sub when using the Mac or PC app. So let me uh, follow the directions over here and pull it out carefully. Looks like these go on the bottom. Not sure if I'm going to need those or not. Probably the most important thing, aside from the uh, sub, is going to be the power cord. So I will uh, put the power cord in. In a second, and again, it said pull from here on the side. Pull up. Okay, I'm actually going to hit pause here. I have a okay, so this over here is the sub, just took it right out of the box, never used it so far. As I said earlier, it came with that power cord. It says that we should put this in, it looks really nice and polished, uh, quite impressive. And uh, I'm going to put it in the corner and then plug it in. Okay. So.
And I'm going to actually uh, uh, pause for a second and I'll be back. So I just put the sub back in the back there. These little feet that came with it is if you leave the, leave the sub flat. I just laid the sub flat uh, standing up so I did not use these. The power, uh, the power jack is actually, you plug in on the bottom. So plug at the bottom and I plugged it right into my outlet. The next thing I have to do is I have two play ones which are right here. I'm going to uh, put both of these in also. Of course, it makes it the hardest to get the smallest thing open. But these are my play ones. They will be as soon as I open this thing up. There we go. So this one first. Like the others, comes with the uh, quick start. I assume it comes with a quick start guide. Do everything else there? Yep. Also comes with a quick start guide as well as those our famous important instructions. Looks like all they want you to do is plug it in and then download the software, which we'll do in a few minutes. Okay, so I will plug this in. So this is what it looks like when it comes out of the box. Very small, compact design. And it looks like on the bottom of the box, it has a power cord and another Ethernet. I don't think I'll be using the Ethernet because, as I said earlier, I'm doing this all through Wi Fi. But I will use the power cord because it probably needs some power. Um, I'll, show, I'll show you me putting this one in. I'll actually do the same with the other one, but I won't actually uh, um, video that. I will just come back on after it's all plugged in. Okay. So, lights going on on it. I assume that that's a good sign. Looks like it has uh, the same like the other, like the play bar. It has this, uh, looks like play pause, and then up and down volume. Um... And so I will set the other one up and I'll be back in a minute. So I now have both of my play one speaker set up, my play bar set up, and my sub set up in the back. Um, on these two, the light initially came on white after a minute or so it went green to blink green. So now I will try to use my iPad to set up the system. Uh, on here, after I logged in, it tells me to connect the power, which it is connected. Hit next. It says during power up, you'll see flashing white light on your power on your player. Uh, wait about a minute until you see the green flashing light. Press next to continue. Um, if uh, you see the green flashing light shining through the button instead, that's okay. Okay, power up. Let's see what it does. Okay, finds a play one. Um, play bar. So let's we'll start with the play bar. So here's the play bar. Set it up. Okay. On your play on your Sonos play bar, play bar, plus and release the button simultaneously as shown below. So I press the play button and the up button, and then I press next. So do that. So I press both of these at the same time. Makes a pretty sound. Turns red. I hit next. Wait a couple of seconds until you see a flashing orange light on your Sonos player. I see the orange light. Go figure your player. Just doing something. You can, now, if you look, it's now a solid orange light. It 
It looks like it's about 50% uh, set up. Boy, there's a lot of suspense here as we wait for this. Looks like about 90% there. And 100% wireless setup. Uh, you will now, ask me, you will now connect the iPad to a temporary wireless network created by your Sonos player. This wireless network called Sonos is available in the Wi-Fi section of your iPad settings. Press next to proceed instructions. Uh, open the iPad settings. Tap Wi-Fi, my network, tap on Sonos, and list the Sonos steps. I'll, I will do that real quick here. One second. Sonos. Okay, so I'm now on the Sonos uh, network. Press next. Wireless setup. To add your new player, you will be guided through some steps to configure it with your normal wireless network. So it's asking me for my wireless network information, my password, I'll put all that in. So then after I do that, it says Sonos connecting to your wireless network. Please wait, this could take a minute. And I'm waiting. And it's taking a minute. Now, let's look down here real quick. That orange light became a white blinking light. And then it became a white solid light. So it is doing something. And keeping us in suspense as it's doing it. Okay, added a play bar. You are now ready to choose the, uh, choose the room the play bar will be used in. So I'm going to call this the, for lack of a better word, I'm going to call it the TV room. Oop, there it is. Done. Next. Okay, your TV is currently... On. If your TV is currently on, turn it off, which it is off. Uh, you will now be guided through the setup process for your play bar. Uh, do you have a subwoofer? Yes, add a sub. Uh, ensure that your sub is connected, which it is. During the, um, during the power up, you will see a flashing white light on the sub. Wait about a minute until you see a flashing green light, and then press next. Note if your sub is, uh, excuse me, if you see the green light shining through the button, that is okay. So I'm gonna hit pause. Okay, so the green flashing light, it looks like it's right down there. That's what that looks like over there on the side of the sub. Okay. So I will say next. Um, if your sub is on, on your sub, press and release the button um, as shown below. I guess there's a button on the side there. So I will do that. I will be right back. Okay. So I pressed the button and it went from green to orange and now orange to white. And on my iPad, it says, please wait, wait by the connection is completed. So it must be doing something. Okay. Let's look. Yep. Now, now the, now the white light went from solid to blinking. Probably almost done, I'm hoping. That's all there. Added a sub to your play bar. Good, I got both of them together. Now, do you want to use surround speakers? And yes, I do. Add surrounds. Ah, select the speakers you're using. So I'm using two play ones. It's asking me to set up your speakers. Uh, connect the left speaker to the power and place it appropriately, which I did. Uh, during the power on process, you'll see a, a flashing white light on your Play 1. Wait about a minute until you see a green light, then press the next button. Hold on a second. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm going to hit next because it is green, as you can see over here. 
is asking me on my left surround speaker. So this would be my left. I'm gonna press the up and then this. Same time. Went orange. Looks like it's connecting. Then it went white, solid white. Probably means it'll go blinking white soon, if, it, if it's like the others. Solid white still. Ooh, that was, there's the blinking white light, like we saw before on the other units. So my guess is, uh, I said added the left speaker. Now it's going to ask me to do the right. I'm actually, instead of uh, keeping you all on for this, I'm going to pause and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so I'm back here. I just added that right speaker. It's probably the same process I did on the left speaker. Okay, update required. The product, the product requires an update before they will be set up. So I'm going to hit next and I will handle that. I will be back in a minute. So the update process took about three minutes. When I went through the update, it said it was going to take four to six minutes. So it actually went quicker than I thought. During the update, on the speakers, on all the speakers, uh, it was blinking orange, then white, then orange, then white. And then when it finished, it went back to white. Okay, so then afterwards it says Sonos update completed. Uh, so uh, the Sonos system is now running and with the latest software. Uh, preparing the speakers in the room to work together. This will take a minute. So they are blinking again while it's doing this. I guess it must blink when it's uh, when the system is talking from the iPad. It looks like it's doing something. I don't know how long this will take, so I'll hit pause. Okay. Well, it looks like they're all set up to work together. Now it's saying for TV sound, ensure the play bar, uh, excuse me, the TV is connected to the play bar using the optical cable, which it is. Uh, turn on your TV to a show or a movie. Um, you will not hear any sound from the Sonos speaker yet. Okay. Oops. Did it twice. going on so that whole channel so this is not my sonos this is just the tv okay next listen for the signal from the tv i hear it uh your tv is successfully connected to the digital optical yes is. a tv speakers please use a tv's audio setting when you to disable the TV speakers. To do this, you will need the remote control. Came with TV. Many TVs have an on-off setting for TV speakers or settings for uh, for looking ex external speakers. So I will do this. I'll be right back. Okay. Okay. So I just made the adjustment on my TV, and so I don't hear anything now. Although I do see my TV. Um, hit next. Uh, have you? Ask me. Have you? Have your TVs built in speakers been successfully disabled? Successfully disabled. More than $10 a month. Ooh, now you hear speakers that have been disabled. Now that your TV uh, speakers have been disabled, you will hear TV sound coming from your Sony speakers, which I do. Next, remote control setup. Please find the remote control uh, you normally use with watching TV. You'll be asked to press certain buttons on the remote control. Please ignore any messages that may appear. So, uh, press the up, uh, to me. So it says, hold the remote control and point it to the play bar. Press the volume up. So it is going up. Try mute. The first Meeting, meeting is working. So it looks like that's working. It sounds really nice. 
Okay. Press the volume buttons on the remote control you have uh, set up. Fanny screen displays TV, such as messages on the TV speakers. You tune, will be tuned off. Uh, or, oh, say. Actually, mute for a second. Uh, there's no message displayed. Actually, the volume level is displayed. I turn it. Um, okay. Some TVs will show a volume level even when your TV speakers are disabled. The level does not describe the sound coming from your play bar. Uh, there are ways to avoid the volume uh, level being shown. At the end of the Sonos setup, we'll, uh, there'll, be, there'll be more information. So I'll deal with that later. Uh, add, uh, add home theater speakers. Let's see. Your home theater will be used in the TV room. Would you like to add another player to your Sonos system? Um, I have a play bar. Let's see. Adding my play sub, my sub. Mm. Shut the sub. You can just start for me. Okay, so I added the play bar. Now it's asking me about uh, if I want to add anything else, and I would say not now. Okay. Uh, sound is affected by the room and the objects in it. True play tu uh, tuning corrects for the effects of your surroundings, so your music and video will always sound right. Um, true play coming soon. Not supporting it on the iPad. Okay. Uh, for more information, set up from controls. So my Sonos system is ready for use. Would you like to use it to, to do music? And I would. So I will do that in a minute. So I have the play bar and the speaker set up to work with my TV. I'm not going to set it up for music, and I will come back after I do this, and I will give you some impression about the sound from the TV and the sound from the music. Okay, so I just finished testing it. I played a couple of TV stations. Uh, one of my favorite movies, Harry Potter. I'm wearing my Harry Potter shirt over here. I played my Harry Potter movie. Uh, and I've had great sound. I also played uh, a couple of music services, uh, namely... Uh, the one I uh, tried out most with was Pandora. I played a couple songs over there. Amazing sound. Um, absolutely amazing. Um, I'm in the middle sitting on the couch. And I feel like I have everything around me. The whole, all, all the sound all around me. Sounds amazing. Um, Harry Potter, some of the scenes in there uh, had great sound. Um, especially the music scenes. Uh, the, um, the songs that I, I had played when I shut the TV off. Also, as I said, great sound. So, um, my review uh, took, what, half hour to set up, more or less, including the updates, including getting the set, uh, sound, sound bar, the sub, and both speakers set up. Um, once they were set up, it took about five minutes or so to update and have them all configured, and then it probably took me a little while to be able to uh, listen to variety of music and also uh, movies or my movie and uh, TV stations. Um, it was, as I said, excellent sounding sound system. Uh, couldn't imagine anything any better. Um, sitting in the center of it, uh, you feel like you're surrounded by the sound, especially uh, when I had it on Pandora from all sides. It felt like uh, uh, the, the sound was uh, coming right to my ears. So, uh, I, you know, if I was rating it, I would say five stars. Um, the I saw no issues with it. As I said, you were with me. It worked perfectly in 30 minutes as far as getting it set up, just following the directions the way they were in there. Um, there were no surprises, nothing failed. Um, the app seemed to be pretty simple. Uh, from the app standpoint, I was able to pick the music. I was able to authorize it. I authorized Pandora, I authorized Amazon. I'm, Amazon Music, no problem at all uh, with either one of those, able to play either. Uh, and uh, just, as I said, amazing sound. So uh, 
This is Joe. This is my first impression and my review of the Sonos Play Bar Sub and Play Ones. Uh, and thank you for joining me uh, today.